Hello and welcome to EucreMedia.com. My name is Sergey Praknevsky and today I'm going to show you how to create these simple slide transitions inside After Effects. Now I've used them before in my previous tutorials and a few of you have been asking me how to create uh, these transitions and I figured why not just make a tutorial out of it. So let's dive right in. All right, so here we are in After Effects and the first thing we'll create is this single slide transition. And to do so, we're gonna create a new comp by clicking on this icon. And let's label this single slide transition. Okay, hit okay. And next, I'll bring in a shape layer into my scene by double clicking on this rectangle tool. And the reason why I'm using rectangle tool because I just like it for this particular example. So, but you can use solids or whatever. So that's what I'm going with. Uh, but you can use something else. So let's label this slide one, and I'm gonna hit P on my keyboard to animate the position. So I'm gonna set the keyframe uh, uh, on the frame zero and then move it to, let's go down to frame 12 and then set another keyframe. And uh, basically I want to start out from the uh, from the, my left and then forward. So I know the width of my comp uh, of my solid or shape layer is 1920. So I'm just gonna subtract negative 1920. And so I'll take it down to the left and it's right here at the edge. So now if you hit preview, you can see that it's animating and it's very boring. In fact, let's see how boring it is. So if you go to graph editor here and go to speed graph, you can see here's my animation. It's just very, very linear. I mean, you can see it's flat. <laughs> so. Let's make it more interesting. So let's come back here and uh, you can use easing. So let's do control shift F9 to do the, uh, to do the uh, easy uh, in or easy ease out. And you can do the same thing, right click and do uh, easy ease out, control shift nine. So, and basically now what it does, if you go back to the graph editor and uh, see the speed graph, now you can see instead of being flat, now it gave a little curvature. So basically, now it's gonna slowly accelerate. Uh, so that's what it does. So actually me go back to here and I undo and select this keyframe and do control shift F9. You can see how it automatically does that. And if you go back to here and then select this keyframe and do shift F9 for easy is in. So you can tell it changed. Uh, you, if you go back to graph editor, it does a U curve. So it's it's a lot smoother than the linear linear motion. So it's much better, but we're still not there. So what can we do to this? So with this speed graph, uh, I'm not gonna go much into it, uh, uh, but the speed graph compared to like the, the curves and stuff you would alter like X, Y, and Z, the speed graph just mainly messes with your velocity or your keyframe velocities or the speed of your animation. So you can, tell uh, without messing around with positions and stuff rotation you can control the speed of it by dragging the influence left and right like this or start out and if you go up and down it's the speed so zero is slow and basically no movement and then up is movement so in fact let me show you so if i bring it all the way up so it's going to start out going fast and then slowly um so it's going to go really fast. So it's going to start out going really fast and then slowly arrive to uh, the out point here. So let's let's preview this. See how it's almost snaps. You, you, you don't even see it almost come in here. So, or we can do vice versa. We can tell it to slowly arrive or slowly to start out slowly animating and then snapping into the frame. So like something like this. Boom. Boom. So essentially you can alter how you want your animation to be and give it more personality with a graph editor. And uh, I don't, I'll be honest with you, I don't use graph editor that much. Uh, I go, uh, you can do the same thing, you can achieve the same thing by just go uh, using the keyframe velocity shortcut. So if you do control shift K and select like one of the keyframes here and do control shift K, this window will pop up. And essentially it's the same thing. The influence where we drag left and right is here and speed, you know, up and down is right there. So. I'm just going to set for this example 75 influence and z uh, speed is going to be zero because I want it to be uh, starting out from nothing and accelerating. So that's good for this one. And then I'm going to go to this keyframe and do control shift K again for keyframe velocity. And then this time I'm going to do 75 again and zero is fine. So now if you go to the graph editor, you can see that influence is 75 and it's accelerating and then it's fast here and then it's slowly 
uh, you know, gets back to the out point here. So if you preview this, that's what it looks like. And that's what I'm going for. So that's good enough for me. I uh, hope this wasn't complicated, but it's really, it really isn't that complicated. Uh, so next, so I have this uh, shape layer animating in like this. Now I want another one wiping it out. And I just wanted to animate in, stay for one frame covered so I can cut to the next clip. And so I'm gonna duplicate this layer and just hit U to reveal my keyframes and then drag it out here. So it's gonna, for one frame, stay full. And then I want for this layer, let me change color to something a little brighter so we can see it. And then it will wipe it out and, and show alpha instead of this. So there are a few ways you can basically mask this clip out. So you can either use track mat and uh, if you go to alpha inverted mat and essentially it will wipe it out. So that will work for you if you wanna do it that way. But I'm actually gonna do something different. I'm gonna use a blending mode and I'll use this silhouette alpha and make sure that it's visible because track mat makes it uh, not visible. So, and it'll do this, but the problem with a silhouette alpha, it will cut everything below here. So keep that in mind. But essentially this is what a uh, single slide transition looks like. But let's take it a bit further and add a little texture to to this uh, to this thing. So I've created some textures on ukremedia.com. It's like a pattern texture or a pattern looking backgrounds that you can download for free at ukremedia.com. Just go there and search for it. Uh, but uh, in fact, I even showed a tutorial how to do it. So check it out. But let's bring one of them in here and I'm gonna bring one into my composition. And essentially, let me solve this. It's just a bunch of pattern stuff like that. So let's, how do we make this to be uh, in place of this orange? And um, let's figure this out. This is uh, this thing called set mat. Oops, you can search it here. Uh, it's super awesome. I use it all the time. So I'm gonna apply it to my textured or uh, textured or background this the background which is brought in. Just basically apply it to that layer. And essentially how how this works. So you basically say, okay, this layer, you're gonna grab the alpha channel or whatever you want to grab. In this case, alpha channel from uh, the slide one. So now it's going to use the alpha channel from this without being connected, or, you know. So, but make sure when you do this, make sure your background is exact length or width and height uh, as your comp. That's important. And make sure that uh, your mask is the same way as well. Because if it's not, it's going to mess it up. So I also did a tutorial on that, so check it out. But Here's, here's the thing. So now this one is covering it up. So all you have to do is just uncheck the slide one and you'll see the one below it. So here you have it. It's, it's a single slide transition. All right, so next we'll do this double slide transition. And essentially it's the exact same thing as the uh, single slide. It's just slightly different. So let's start out fresh by creating a new comp. And I'll do double slide, oops, double slide transition. Okay, and uh, let's repeat the same steps. So I'm kind of going to go a bit fast since we're repeating steps here. And uh, so let's do first keyframe here on the frame zero. And then this time we'll go to frame 15 and set another keyframe. And uh, we'll do the same movement. So subtract 19, 20. Okay, good. We got this linear movement. So this time I'm not going to go in graph editor. So I'm just going to do control shift K to go into the uh, keyframe velocity window here. And speed this time i'm going to have it 1800 so it's going to come in kind of fast and so there will be no influence so that's good for this and for that keyframe so control shift k to go into the uh, keyframe velocity mode uh in here i'm not going to have any speed and instead i'm going to have influence of around 75 percent so essentially this is what it will look Cool. Uh, I don't know if you see this because it's yellow. Let's change it to something darker so you can see. Okay. Yep, that's good. And um, next, what I'll do is basically duplicate this layer, Control D, and put it on frame eight. And I'll change the colors here so you can see the movement slightly brighter. So it's gonna be like this. And I'm going to duplicate it again and put it on frame 16. So, and this will be the alpha, um, the uh, silhouette alpha. 
so it's gonna wipe us out. So essentially, this is what a double uh, slide will look like. And now we can repeat the same steps we took for the background. Uh, so I'm just gonna bring one in and uh, do the set mat again, drop it over here and tell to grab alpha from slide one and then duplicate this again and tell it to drop, uh, get alpha from slide two and I'm gonna hold alt and replace it with a different uh, slide. So, and turn these two off. And here you have it, this is the double slide transition. All right, I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you would like to have the project file of this tutorial, go to ukremedia.com and you can download it there. Please like this video, share it, comment. I love hearing from you guys. Uh, subscribe to this channel, like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, uh, and definitely check the uh, ukremedia.com. I'll be posting more articles, uh, blog articles and stuff like that, and giving uh, things away and also doing more tutorials. So thank you again for watching. My name is Sergey Proknevsky and this is ukremedia.com. Mm -hmm.